CataractCoach.com. This is the reason why your aspiration flow rate should be very high during final irrigation aspiration. Watch this case, otherwise a normal case. Capsular bag is nice and empty. We inflate the eye with viscoelastic. We'll have a nice round rexus. It looks great. We're going to insert our lens coming in here. Again, a single piece of acrylic lens. Put that right in the capsular bag. And everything goes as planned. This is a patient where we did phaco chop, our usual technique, to remove the nucleus. Cleaned up all the cortex quite nicely. There's the eye well. Let's rotate it in the capsular bag. Get that second haptic to unfold all the way great lens centers nicely i'm sure it's totally in the capsule bag and now it's going to, it's time for our irrigation aspiration so i use a high flow rate here i like at least 15 preferably 60 cc's a minute and that's just to really wash out the anterior chamber look at those two surprise pieces they came out of apparently nowhere so they were stuck under the iris in that sulcus and we didn't see them but when we have all this fluid flowing through the eyes that helps wash it out think about it 60 cc's a minute and if the volume of the anterior chamber alone is let's say a quarter of a cc that's about turning it over 240 times a minute so just if we have 15 seconds of ia at the end there that'll turn over the entire contents of the anterior chamber many, many times, 60 times. So now there's one little piece left. I see that little piece floating around, a small little cataract fragment. Well, we'll leave that iris alone. If you watch carefully, you saw that. And there is that one piece. Now there's still a little piece of lens material under the IOL optic. Now I'll try just lift it up and see if I can get the fluid to push it out. But now there it is. See that one little piece? Hmm, how do we get this? Well, let me ask you, can you leave it in the eye? My advice is don't. And the reason is it'll cause a lot of inflammation, could cause capsular fibrosis there. You really want to remove it. But I just can't seem to access it quite easily. So what we'll do here is we're going to seal up this incision a little bit. We're going to use that same eye handpiece in a bimanual method. So we'll have the irrigation in the right hand and then aspiration on the left so just trying to squirt bss like i'm doing here it's just not getting that one piece and i can't leave it so here you go right hand has just the infusion now oh no that's the full ia and we still can't reach it and it's just too much tension on the caps or bag by dis dislocating the lens to try to get underneath it so at this point now i say okay you know what we've got to split this hand piece we're going to do this. And because the suction now on the left hand is much smaller, we can maneuver it underneath the eye wall optic a lot easier. And we keep the infusion in the front of the eye. So we'll go a little bit more. There it is, a little. And we got it. Beautiful. Now make sure that the eye wall stays in the capsule bag. Make sure all these maneuvers didn't cause it to prolapse partially out of the bag. And that looks great. So there you go. This is the reason why. You need to have a very high flow rate at the end of surgery. Wash out the cataract, fragments that may remain, wash out the viscoelastic, and leave the eye looking great. Thanks for watching.